Hey, what's going on? It's Tennyson Donye with NJ.com. We're here at Montclair Brewery where black culture's on tap. We're gonna talk to the owners about how their heritage plays a big role in the way they operate their business. This used to be a furniture restoration company before the Saladogo family opened Montclair Brewery in 2018. It's a unique spot to grab a brew here in North Jersey, infusing ingredients from beer made in Africa with elements of black culture found here in the U.S. and abroad. Beer was always being brewed in Africa by women. I, uh, like I say all the time, I'm probably one of the first men from Africa that ever tried brewing beer because it's not a custom to, for men to brew beer in, in those countries. So I, I, I learned to brew originally from my, from my mother. Leo Sawadogo is originally from Burkina Faso, West Africa. His wife, Denise, has roots in Jamaica. When we first opened the brewery, we wanted to make beer that reflect both of us identity and both of us, uh, you know, uh, culture. The microbrewery and tasting room has more than 20 beers on tap. You won't find them anywhere else. The Black is Beautiful is made with baobab, which is a fruit from West Africa. We brew with hibiscus, which is um, grown in both of our countries or regions. Popular beers include the Black is Beautiful, the National Emergency, and the Black Mamba, a dark lager named for late NBA legend Kobe Bryant. Simply put, people come to Montclair Brewery for the beer and stay for the vibe. Every February, we celebrate Black History Month with the Black History Month series of beers for, uh, for any type of holiday, for like Jamaica Independence Day. We did a whole celebration, weekend celebration with reggae music. We'll have our Jamango IPA and different things like that. So it's important to do that. The brewing process takes seven days to seven weeks, depending on the type of beer. A full batch is 220 gallons, enough to fill 14 taps. Black-owned breweries are relatively rare. Although there are more than 8,000 breweries in the United States, only 60 are Black-owned, according to the New York Times. My wish is uh, other people uh, from the same color as us, you know, join the brewing industry. It is very important. It is very sad for me to walk at the Brewers Conference and I'm the only guy over there walking around, or few of us. However, in a year rife with racial unrest over the death of George Floyd, the owners say they've seen an increase in patronage. We were flooded like that weekend and then that week after where we ran out of things because we had no idea that was coming. Yeah. So all of a sudden, everyone wanted to support like a black owned business. And it's still going, it's still, yeah, still going yes, as up is, today. Which is People, good and yeah. we hope it continues as yes. well, that it's not right. just a, fi uh, a fad or a trend right. that we need to make this a part of every day. Thank you for joining us on Black in New Jersey, a show that's unapologetically black, unapologetically Jersey. For NJ.com, I'm Tennyson Donye. Cheers.